Hey YouTube! This is Crafting Commentary. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm back uh, with another uh, video uh, and I'm going to show off some of my jelly plate uh, work and uh, uh, do a little flip and do a little description. Let me do a quick flip real fast and then if you want to hear more about how I did these then just stick around. Okay, so, uh, so these are some of my best. I love the color combinations. Uh, and these are also, <laughs> by the way, on the back uh, is a uh, birthday uh, party uh, uh, invitation. So I'm actually using these as invitations. And it's really quite different. I don't think anybody's ever gotten an invitation like this for a birthday party, huh? <laughs> anyway, quick, quick flip. I love the colors. This one really, really kicks ass. Oh, excuse the expression. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, more interesting stuff. This here uh, was uh, actually wall paint. Interesting. And uh, But mostly I use uh, the cheapest craft paints from Michael's. They actually work the best because they're not, they're very kind of a little bit watered down, but the colors are absolutely vibrant. They seem to be made for kids. Um, and uh, I'm just a big kid. That's all I got to say. I love the bright colors. I, I, it, when used properly, I think, you know, you can really go overboard with bright colors and you can just, it, it, it you know, with art, hey. <laughs> who's to say it's so subliminal it's so subjective and of course that is the beauty of it um i was listening on a youtube video recently this is way off the subject people but um uh, some people with some wacky stuff on youtube hey haven't we seen it and um some people were saying that there are you know ufos out there there are extraterrestrials <laughs> And, uh, boy, these people really feel they know what they're talking about. But uh, they, they, they say that uh, there are ETs among us, as extraterrestrials, and they're studying us, and they abduct us from time to time, that is, we humans. And the thing that they're most intrigued about is our, you know, uh, that, that the fact that we are so, such an emotional um, creature. We have such strong emotions and that these ETs don't have any emotions. And that is what, that's why we fascinate them from, a, from their perspective, a, just a purely scientific uh, perspective. They know that we feel emotions, um, but they don't know why, and they can't feel them themselves, and they probably want to study us so they can in, maybe inject themselves with some kind of serum <laughs> to, so they can feel uh, uh, emotion. But I mention emotion because art is so emotional. I know that recently I was not feeling well. I had a very bad cold. I was really run down. But, you know, I, you know with this art, you know, it's so addictive. <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. But um, so I love those colors. Oh, wow. Um, that... Um, but I decided to do some some printmaking, this mono printmaking with a bit of jelly plate and the tent stencils and the stamping and all the fun, you know. And, uh, you know, I wasn't on my game. Boy, I was not on my game. Oops, telephone call. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Okay, so uh, I was not on my game, and uh, the paintings, it was just a wasted evening. Just a lot of wasted paint. Just a lot of wasted paper. So anyway, there's your flip. There's your flip, people. And uh, let's go back to the beginning. And uh, I'm just going to talk about the beginning ones, I think, just because those are, I've, um, uh, taking them out um, as being the best and let me just say right here that <laughs> that is just lovely um the hearts are made with a very 
thick cosmetic sponge in the shape of a very well cut out uh, heart shape and nothing like a heart shaped um, cosmetic sponge to carry uh, paint, acrylic paints. You just dip it, especially with the jelly plate, and you have that nice thin layer that you get with the brayer. Uh, by the way, before I go on any further, uh, folks need to, I need to mention that the people, if they are interested in jelly plate, the first and best place to go is um, Jelly Arts, G-E-L-L-I Arts on the YouTube channels. Um, and um, this one is interesting because uh, this is a stencil, but I used it as a stamp. Have you ever used a stencil as a stamp? Well, that's what I did here. These colors, I don't know what happened, but the colors were just perfect. The blue, the very yellow, green, um, and I, I, you know, you, you can't really tell what's going on there. It's two more uh, sponge stamped um, hearts, and it really kind of you know it's not very well executed so to speak but i don't know the color combination i'm definitely gonna have to use that color combo again the same with this one this has a very especially right here has a very andy warhol um look those are kind of his type of colors this was uh, uh very heavy you see sometimes heavy paint is not a good thing with jelly jelly uh, plate but in this case I don't know it kind of worked uh, here's a stencil XOXO and hearts uh, um, here's sort of a picket fence kind of a thing and then later on I came back and sprinkled it I don't know how I got that sprinkle I might have used the uh, exfoliant sponge just dipped it in some paint and went over it just to give it sort of a speckled look and um, I don't know there's certain kind of texture like that adds so much it adds interest these the color I'm getting to think that a black uh, paper is the best again I've said this in other videos that I use um, just plain, oh, cheap, oh, uh, construction paper you use in second grade. Uh, and what's wonderful about it is that it's very absorbent paper. It's very colorful paper. So between those two things, you've got the uh, paint drying fast. You can do uh, various layers fast. Um, the colors here, right here, orange, blue, uh, it just, I don't know, there's something really clicks there. Um, this is one of the nicer stencils. I love this. I didn't even use the jelly plate here. I just took the brayer and, and uh, brushed um, the blue paint like that. Um, wow. I just, it's very, very abstract, but very modern look. Um, I got to do something with this. Uh, back to, uh, okay, this texture here comes from this tape that I have. Let me give you a, show you a sample. Um, I can pull it out. Uh, I have no idea what this stuff is. You see this? I have no idea what it is, but um, contractors use it or artists. I don't know who uses it. Photographers, who knows? But um, it's a very good thing to add stuff add texture on your belt jelly plate and you always need to add some texture um this is just wacky i don't know but it's nice um this has anything the white is a latex wall paint um here's some ghost prints uh find out about that at jelly 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 art this is like pretty like just two colors. Usually I like to get three. Well, there's maybe a third color right there. I don't like to have, um, you know, I like to have two or three colors, but never, not five or six, you know. When you get up at that many colors, um, usually gets ruined. Here, this is perfect. We've got blue, we've got the light blue, we've got the yellow, and we got a little 
something over here just to add a little texture and it's perfect. Okay, then again, I used a stencil as a stamp. That is the one. Okay, um, this is the cap to a deodorant container. <laughs> uh, it works. And here's that cosmetic sponge, just one color, this off-white on purple. Um, again, using the, st the stencil as a stamp. And we have some other colors underneath, probably just... Uh, you know, washing off the brayer. Here's my hand. <laughs> Those are fingers, people. <laughs> uh, just for fun. And stenciling with the heart stencil. Uh, I want to mention that it's great that the, the paint dries so quickly on construction paper in this case. Uh, these cheap uh, acrylic paints from Michaels, uh, the cheapest paints work best with jelly plate. Do not use expensive ones. Um, they're too too uh, rich, they're too thick, and they just don't work on that jelly plate. So use the cheap ones, the bright ones from Michaels, um, and you don't have to use a um, uh, your your dryer. Um, so your electric dryer. I see a lot of crafters using their electric dryers. Uh, you know, to, to quick um, dry off their layers. Uh, I don't approve of it. I don't like it. Um, it's extremely wasteful uh, energy-wise. It's not good for the environment, people. I love this, this, this hobby, but we don't want to, we don't want to um, end the world. Do we? Come on. Anyway, okay. Here's a real pretty one. Uh, here, I just want to say that what you do is you, you put down the, um, the uh, uh, paint on the jelly plate. Now, where is my damn jelly plate? I thought it was sitting right here. Um, oh, boo. Um, anyway, um, you put um, a thin layer of paint on the jelly plate with your brayer. I have a really little brayer here. This is two inches, ha! Huh? And uh, then you you rough it up, and I used a, a just a three by five card, and I cut it with pinking shears, and then I just rub that across the thin layer. This was just a cap from like an orange juice bottle or something. So here we have um, a a stencil used as a stamp. So more stenciling, interesting stenciling. These aren't so good. These are the ones at the back. So these are kind of throwaways. These are probably rejects. I don't like any of these really. Maybe this one. So um, we have this. That's kind of nice. It has sort of pussy willows. Not pussy riot, pussy willows. Okay. Uh, thumbs up, people. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Craft and Commentary. I'm um, hoping to uh, get your feedback and tell your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff.